Hey guys, Seth Fuller, your favorite attorney here in your Texas trial champion here on another edition of News Too Crazy to Be True. Or maybe it's News Too Crazy to Be False. In any event, today's is about rapper Afro Man. That's right. And then I got high. And then I got high. And then he got sued because Adams County Sheriff's Office deputies um, brought a lawsuit against him. Now this event stems from a raid that the sheriff's office conducted on his house last year. Now, basically, they got an informant telling them that uh, he was a kidnapping and um, narcotics dealing, and uh, they used this to get a warrant to search his house. They knocked down his gate, knocked down his door, raided his house with, uh, you know, the AR-15s drawn and ready, and um, they find zero. You know, dug through all suit pockets. Now, wait, I know what you're thinking. Seth, you just said the police were suing him. You mean Afro Man is suing the police. Nope. The police are suing Afro Man. Now, how would the police sue Afro Man for a botched raid that turned up not a shred of evidence? Well, it's because Afro Man took offense to this, and Afro Man had extensive cameras in his house. So Afro Man used that camera footage to generate hits like... Will you help me repair my gate? Will you help me repair my door? Did you find what you was looking for? Will you help me repair my gate and Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, that was a good one. Uh, and don't forget this joint. The warrant said narcotics and kidnapping. The warrant said narcotics and kidnapping. Are you kidding? I make my money rapping. Why does the warrant say narcotics? Well, I know narcotics, but why kidnapping? Aha, that's catchy. And uh, basically, the uh, seven of the, the police, was four deputies, two sergeants, and a detective with the Adams County Sheriff's Office decided this caused them emotional distress, embarrassment, ridicule, loss of reputation, and humiliation. Yeah, that's right. These videos did. Not the fact that they conducted a raid on a celebrity who had access to the internet and came up with bupkis. Not a single thing. A guy who's famous for having marijuana. The dude's wearing a marijuana suit in one of the videos. And you didn't find any marijuana. Did you find hundreds of pounds of marijuana in my suit? No. Um, <laughs> so anyways, um, the so now they're suing him. Basically, I think this is maybe a takedown lawsuit. They want him to take it down. I don't think that's going to work. Hey, uh, seven police officers uh, who uh, used your uh, police powers to raid a uh, person who was completely innocent and who paid lots of taxes and who had a voice and probably continue to use that power to also raid people who have no voice have no power maybe have a little bit of weed in them so you'll end up taking their money and their cars and stuff like that and then attributing it to the uh, marijuana or maybe the little coke that they have and take all their money hey you seven guys yeah that's you um you got to Google the Barbara Streisand effect because if you think that these four or five videos with maybe 150 to 200,000 views a piece caused you emotional distress, embarrassment, ridicule, loss of reputation, and humiliation, well, guess what? Those videos, by the time you get to depositions, gonna have a couple of million views just from your lawsuit. That's it. Think of it. This guy only had a hundred and something thousand views. I have a video with 2.7 million. Or no, I have a video with like 6 million views. This guy only was getting like 150,000. And now you are in the AP. That's how Associated Press. That's how I got this. And uh, you decided to make this even bigger. So uh, good job with that. I'm sure that's what you wanted because now you can say there's more damages. But in any event... I do not understand what you think you're accomplishing by suing someone for posting footage that they took from their own house. 
I mean, you can't even sue people for recording you in public. And if you watch these uh, First Amendment jer jerk offs, you know that they can, they can record you no matter what you're in public. But you are in this man's house. You busted down his door. And then you were in this man's house and you're saying he can't use the footage of you on his property. He didn't invite you there. But he can't use that footage to ridicule you because you found nothing. In any event, that's you, you can see where I'm going with this legally. I, I don't I don't even know what their cause of action is um, because, again, he didn't steal footage from them. He used their own footage. More importantly, you would have to answer to a jury if this goes all the way to trial, which I doubt. You would, you're going to have to answer to a jury as to why you are cutting his cameras. Oh, did I mention this hit? The sheriff disconnected my cameras. The sheriff disconnected my cameras. The sheriff should be locked up in slammers. The Adams County Sheriff Department disconnected my cameras. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were cutting his cameras. You weren't trying to take the footage. You weren't trying to – no, you were you were cutting the footage that – wouldn't you want as a police officer? Like now, you, now he has no way to say that you stole his money, uh, which he did in, in one of the videos famously. Oh, wait. Uh, that's right. The police say – and I'm not kidding you on this. They miscounted the money. They didn't steal any. It was just a miscounting. That That's real. In any event, uh, maybe uh, if you hadn't cut the cameras, you could have shown that it was miscounted. Uh, so that's the crazy news here. Um, again, as an attorney, um, I think this is for the injunction. I think maybe even temporarily they could get some some judge somewhere, some friendly judge. I know there's not a lot of state-friendly judges. No, I'm just kidding. Almost every judge is state-friendly in the South. Um, but uh, they, they're going to try to get somebody to do an injunction. Might be successful. I think um, – uh, hold on. Sorry about that. I had not even thought about one of the most important things here, which is called anti slap Now, what anti slap S-L-A-P-P, -P, is, is a law that a lot of states have, ad have adopted that is to prevent, essentially, um, lawsuit trolls. So if you are trying or and, and prevent some governments from infringing on free speech rights, and the way a lot of people are doing that is something like this lawsuit perfect example where you don't want someone to say something that's bad about you so you sue them and the thinking is i can at least tie them up in court maybe get an injunction or if i'm uh if i if i have way more money than that person then i can tie them up in litigation and shut them up and essentially dampen their free speech by uh taking advantage of our court system which is you know, supposed to protect constitutional free speech. In any event, aka this lawsuit here. And according to the interwebs, because I don't practice in Georgia, I practice in Texas, um, there is a Georgia anti slap statute enacted in 1996. Now, the, what the, the, the main teeth behind the anti slap statute is it is almost, is very likely that Afro Man will be able to get the attorney's fees he has to expend from the police and the police are likely to have a higher burden assuming what they want is to quiet afro man's constitutional rights to post videos that he obtained in his house of the state raiding his house i mean this is a pretty substantial free speech argument and in most anti-slap statutes those free speech arguments make it to where the court has to decide that if there is a free speech issue there is a higher burden on the plaintiff in this case those seven officers to show that what they're doing is not to dampen its free speech spoiler alert i think it is and that 
And then if they lose, they can face like triple attorney's fees. Again, I'm not familiar with Georgia's anti-slap statutes, and I'm you know just vaguely familiar with anti-slap in general, but this is the type of case that is ripe for an anti-slap suit, and I think we'll be seeing that in the near future. That will be interesting, and I wonder, I, I'm not thinking the taxpayers will have to fit this one. Jesus Christ, I hope not. Oh, wouldn't it be crazy if the Georgia taxpayers had to pay Afro Man hundreds of thousands of dollars, not for wrongfully raiding his house, which is how it should go, but for suing him after he produces video of you wrongfully raiding his house. In any event, it's early. We'll have to see that. I'll try to keep you updated. In the meantime, um, let's do what Afro Man does. You know, have cameras in every room of your house. Um, and if the police violate your rights, record it on camera and then post it on the internet. But this is the most important part. I need it to a catchy beat, please. Uh, Afro Man is really good at that, the catchy beats. Maybe not so much the lyrics, but the catchy beats. And uh, so I need you to maintain that same standard, please. In any event, I'll try to maintain that same standard here on my channel on YouTube. I think at this point right now, it's like 7,500 subscribers. Y'all are crazy. And I know none of y'all are watching this long video. All my subscribers are from a short that essentially I just edited somebody else's content. I know I'm so terrible, but I, man, I don't care. I, it's so awesome to see this type of support, and I will keep bringing you this type of video where I break down what I think are important uh, uh, st uh, stories or important legal aspects of national stories. Go look at my other content. If you don't like it, then unsubscribe. But if you do like it, please uh, tell your friends, subscribe, and keep watching. I appreciate it. In any event, I hope you are doing well, and have a nice one.